After working at Sotheby's um, International Realty for many years, I made a change to Compass and I've been at Compass for four years now. I'm gonna share with you all the reasons why I love working at Compass, show you a few things behind the scenes. And um, basically there are a lot of people that are interested in Compass for whatever reason. Compass is sort of a polarizing company. You know, um, people either love Compass or hate Compass and that's, it's cool, that's just how it is. Um, whenever you have a company in any industry, it's, I guess it's like, I don't wanna say this in a, a bad way, but it's like, I look at it as like the New England Patriots or the Kansas City Chiefs. When, when you have a company or a team doing well, there are gonna be people that love that company or team, and there are gonna be people that hate that company. And so before I get into everything, um, I, I'm in Miami, I'm an agent here, and uh, I get so many calls every week for people that want to move to Compass. A lot of them are at Sotheby's, a lot of them at Douglas Selliman, Keller Williams, Coldwell Banker, just a ton of different um, agents, EXP and other ones. And I figure if I do this video, it would help um, you guys with some of your questions. And if you ever do um, have a question that goes deeper than this video, feel free to reach out to me. Um, you know, I've probably done over a hundred calls with agents that were thinking about making the move and wanted to share with you some of the great things, some of the things that aren't that great at Compass and um, just be full disclosure with everything and hope that helps you. And before I get into that, um, when I do this video, um, I was thinking about like, you know, the five reasons I, I moved to Compass or seven reasons, because those things are called listicles. Our, our team does a lot of marketing. We probably get 95% of our business from our marketing. And those listicle things, the numbers, the, the three things, the five things, the seven things get much better engagement. But while I was trying to write down the list of all the things about Compass that I, I really love that I wanted to share, it's way more than a number that I can put on. I can talk for hours. But before I get into that, I just want to let you know um, that the Sotheby's um, company that I work for is a great company. I, this isn't a video to like downgrade another company. It's basically a video to share with you why I love where I work. And like most of you, if you work at, whether you work at Keller Williams, Sotheby's, EXP, or wherever, I'm sure most of you love where you work at. And so without a doubt, Sotheby's in Miami, um, Daniel De La Vega, Maya De La Vega, and all the other people involved at Sotheby's are class act, class acts. They're professional people. They, they run their business really, really well. And by me moving to Compass, this isn't a knock against them. This is just more opportunities for me. And like being as transparent as I can, when I worked at Sotheby's, I wasn't a top producer. And you know how all these agents put the, you know, on their card, top producer and stuff like that. I'm not saying I'm a top producer now, but I'll get into information a little bit later on, you know, what we do and stuff like that with my team. But as an agent at Sotheby's, I was just a regular person, didn't do that many deals towards the end of my career at Sotheby's, um, I, I got someone on the team. And so it was basically a few months before I left, I worked at Sotheby's for about three years and I've been at Compass come April, it'll be four, four years. And so I figure at this time period, I could give a, a thorough analysis of that. And before that, before I worked at Sotheby's, I was at um, Coldwell Banker for 11 years. And so, Coldwell Banker is very different around the country. In some areas, it's exceptional. They do a ton of um, high-end business. I know Tim Smith in California is just crushing it. Some of the Sotheby, I mean, some of the Coldwell Banker agents in Miami are doing really well. But Coldwell Banker is very different around the country. And I see that with Keller Williams, EXP, and some of these other brands. Um, so, you know, as, as you listen to this, um, just think of that experience you're having compared to someone else that may have a different experience um, with your same brokerage in a different part of the country or world. Um, so one of the things when I worked at Sotheby's, um, I knew 
I've always done, not always, but probably about for six years, six, seven years, I've done a lot of social media. Like I said, probably 95% of our business that we get at Compass, our team, um, is from people that typically don't know us personally, but know of us online. And so with that said, I had a pretty strong presence um, at Sotheby's, even though I, I wasn't a top agent that you read in the newspaper all the time, I was an agent that most Sotheby's agents knew, I, I think, um, you know, another agent and I, Courtney Brown um, in Hawaii, and I started this group um, on Facebook for Sotheby's agents. And we probably had, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15% of the agents of Sotheby's worldwide. And that's a very big number. So we had a pretty good following. Um, anyway, so let me get into Compass, first of all. So one of the things I mentioned while I was at Sotheby's, I got zero agent referrals, none. And um, while I've been at Compass, so now, like I said, prior to leaving at Compass, I, it was just me and another agent that I had for maybe two, three months, um, Will. Now, our, the, because you know things have gotten so much better with business and the opportunities at Compass, which I'll share with you in a bit, um, now um, my team, I hate to say my team, it's our team, everyone on our team, we have, there are five of us. And so obviously we're doing much better. And during this time um, at Compass, we've received 82 agent referrals um, with, within the Compass network, which is, you know, if you look at, if you look at agent referrals, you have, they're like better than, like, if you look at a Zillow lead, a Zillow lead isn't really that good. It's maybe like one to 3% are converting. 3% is like a really, really great agent is converting that much. At, um, when you get an agent referral, as you guys know, that are listening to this, if you're an agent, they're very good referrals, but you don't close all of them. You do, you close many of them, but you don't close all of them because things happen. People change their plans to move to your, to your area. Sometimes they may not qualify. Sometimes in their mind, what they thought they could get for a certain um, budget isn't, um, isn't going to work out and, and many other reasons, just things happen. But with that said, with those 80 plus referrals, we've, we've closed well over seven figures in commissions because of that. Um, just to give you an example, one of the agent referrals is, has been over 300,000 GCI, um, because of, that one one referral. So it's, it's been way, way more than seven figures. Um, so what do I like at Compass? You know, what is so different? Everyone will ask me that. I get so many calls and it, it's so weird. Like, um, so I'm a 50 plus year old guy, uh, Indian guy in Miami. And you typically wouldn't think of me as like someone that is hip or cool or anything else like that. But it's so weird. Once I joined Compass, all of a sudden, and this may sound like foolish to some of you guys, but this is the truth. When I joined Compass, it was almost, I was getting calls like almost like as if I worked at Google or Apple, like I was a little bit cooler than I was. So I got a lot of calls like that and I still do get them. And it's, it's pretty good when you can, it's almost like someone having like a nice car and they get out of a nice car and people judge them sometimes more favorably, not always, but you know, sometimes more favorably because of that. So that's one of the things. Another thing at Compass, what I really, really like, especially for me and, and our team, we're really good on social media, online. Our online presence is, is good. We have, a, we have good brand awareness. And what happens is we have something on, um, at Compass called Workplace. And Workplace is basically Facebook's business division. Facebook is pretty smart, as you know. I mean, their stock is not doing that well. The meta stock isn't doing that well recently. But depending on, I think it's like at 220. So today is, let me see the date. It is February 8th and it's about 220. 
And I'm just saying that February 2022. So if you see this in, in the future and the stock is way higher or way lower, at least you'll get an idea of how it is. And, you know, I'm, I'm sorry I'm, if I'm going on into tangents or going on, tang on a tangent, whatever. I'm not sure how to say it. But anyways, um, I would say to invest in Facebook, but um, I'm sure it'll do really well. But anyways, Facebook is smart because they know that when people are at work, they tend to go on the social media um, platforms. So Facebook has um, Workplace, which like I said, EXP, the people on EXP are have Workplace as well. EXP is a great company as well. All these companies are great. Um, and so what Workplace does is it enables us to create groups like on Facebook, you can create whatever you want. So within our workplace group, all the people at Compass are on it. So I'll, I'll share with you a few different screens. Um, not sure how much I'm supposed to share or allowed to share. So I won't, I won't dive deep into it, but I'll just show you a few things. I'm gonna share my screen right now. Let me make sure I'm sharing the right one. Okay. So basically this is workplace, looks just like Facebook. And I'm gonna get into this in a second. So Compass has something called um, likely to sell recommendations. And within those likely to sell recommendations, it's from our CEO saying 10, they've done like really, really deep dives and studies into how, how, um, how well our likely to sell are converting. And 10% of the likely to sell recommendations that we get daily, are converting, which is much, much higher than um, than pretty much any um, lead platform. So we have this thing called Agent Mastermind. People are asking questions and stuff. And this is basically when you're sharing different things. It's like you're asking um, people advice, people are responding. It's collaborate without ego. And I, I really love collaborate without ego. Um, because what happens is people um, in real estate, a lot of times people aren't helping each other. And um, that's what I, one of the things I love about Compass. We're always sharing our knowledge. And I'll get into a few other things about Compass in a second. Another thing, what could help your brand is on Workplace, you can create whatever group you want. So I know that people, agents, a lot of times are busy. And one of the few things that they do is they stream stuff. So I created this group, it's called Compass Streamers. Um, we have 5,800 people in it and we're just sharing different things um, like different movies to watch on Netflix. I'm hooked now, you know, read before you sign this, this, this show. Um, this is another show to watch. Just people sharing pretty cool things about um, things that they'd like to watch. Let's see if I could share with you something else. Um, cats of compass is another one. So people that have cats, there's 526 members and we're showing, I shared my friend's Bengal cat, um, and whatever. So you sort of get the idea of, um, workplace. I'm going to share with you something really quickly. Um, so let me share my screen again. So I was telling you about this likely to sell. So every day we get these likely seller recommendations. Basically, the, um, as as you may know, Compass is a tech tech driven real estate brokerage. So out of this likely to every day, I'm getting these new likely seller recommendations. So these are people that will are probably going to sell in the future. So out of this 539 probably they've done studies probably 53 people or 54 people out of these are actually likely to sell which is a very very high number so i could reach out to these people and i'm going to share with you in a little bit what else we can do with that we also have increased activity recommendations people that are looking at things my buyers basically our whole back end um different things um about you know, people email, just knowing what's going on with the activity, I'll show you marketing center real quickly. Um, 
I'm not going to go too deep into it because I'm not sure what I'm allowed to share and what I'm not. But we have this platform. It's super easy. Social media, email, video studio. I could create any videos. For those of you that use BombBomb, we have our own type of BombBomb. I think it's actually better than BombBomb. Um, and just market your listings, growing your brand. We can do retargeting our, our um, ads. We can do, I'm gonna stop sharing. We can do um, We can do Google ads, we can do Facebook ads, Instagram ads. It takes no more than 30 to 45 seconds to do an ad on that. And it can come straight out of, if we have a marketing budget, it could come out of that or you can get billed, however you do it. It's super easy to do that. So besides all of that, why do I love Compass? And if you're thinking about making a move, why should you do that? So first of all, like I said, my team grew from me and another person uh, at, at Sotheby's two, three months being there. Um, now we, it's five of us and we just hired two people. Um, but so last year, three of us, we did roughly about 115 deals. And um, if you if you wanna know about approximately what we sold last year, maybe I think it was like 48 or 50 million um, between like the three of us. So it's pretty good. And because, and I'm not gonna like lie that we're great or anything. The market is good. We live in Miami, the market's good. But the thing is our, our business grew tremendously because of a lot of tools that Compass has, because of the 80 plus referrals, because we live in Miami, because we're able to do these Facebook, Google ads and all these other things really easily. Um, so here are some of the big, big benefits if you think, if you're thinking about moving to Compass. Number one is whenever, like, I, I always say this, like when I worked at Sotheby's, I wasn't a great agent. I was treated well, but I was never treated like a superstar, which is okay. I'm not supposed to be, you know, I was an agent um, there and you could tell, I don't know, with your brokerage and i'm not saying anything wrong with sotheby's because that's how any business is typically with most businesses you you could tell how the average worker is treated and how like a top producer as they say in real estate is treated you know there's gonna be like more tickets to different events just a lot of other things which was at sotheby's and probably pretty much every other place besides maybe compass it's how it's going to be and that's just normal that's life it's like a football team um you know joe burrow of the Bengals is going to be treated better than their fourth string quarterback third string quarterback just how life is at compass it's so different i always tell people when they ask me about compass i tell them this basically i was like a high school basketball player that was on the bench that couldn't even get in the game. And uh, they treated me like LeBron James or Michael Jordan, always. And you know, in the beginning, it's a little bit weird because you're wondering like, when is this honeymoon period gonna get over? But nearly four years later, it's still there. I am grateful every single day. And I mean, I get like a little bit emotional about it, but, um, I'm so grateful that I, I, I work at Compass every single day. I, I feel gratitude in my heart. I feel so lucky that I, I work at the place I work. And um, it's, it's a place where I don't want to, if I ever stop in real estate, I, I hope I stop at Compass because I love I love working at Compass so much because of that. So why why is that? You know, in case you're like, why are you, are you just a Compass fanboy? I am, but I'll tell you why. One of the things about Compass that I really really love is before they let anyone at Compass. So like typically at Sotheby's Element or any other company, Keller Williams, EXP, whatever. And maybe it's different at your brokerage. So if that's the case, you know, by all means, I'm not talking to you. But for the mo most part, for my 18 years in real estate, I this is my 18th year. So 17 plus years in real estate. Um, when someone 
so I'll give you an example. Say I worked at another company besides Compass and say John is my friend and John says, hey, I want to work at um, the brokerage I work at. And so typically what would happen, I would um, basically call my broker, say, hey, I have a friend, his name's John. He wants to work at our brokerage. Um, what should I do? Broker usually says, yeah, have him come in and they sign him up and start getting him to work there. At Compass, it's much different. What I have to do is I have to send an email to Compass headquarters in New York, and I will say, um, hi, uh, this is Amit from Miami. Um, I have a friend, John Davis. He, he um, wants to join Compass. Here's his website. Here are some of the things you can find about him online. And I really think he would um, be perfect for the Compass culture. So the next thing they do is they'll vet that person. It could take a day, it could take a week or two weeks to vet that person. So what does vetting mean? So vetting means that they're going to, um, they're gonna ask three people at Compass two questions. Is this person, does this person collaborate and do they have no ego? And if this person doesn't get yes for both questions, they are not going to be hired as a principal agent at Compass. They're not going to ask that for team members, but they're going to ask that for all the team leads or the, the, the principals up there, you know, those principal agents. I sent them an agent that did 120 million plus a few years ago when I first started at Compass. That agent um, did, like I said, 120 million a year. They got two yeses. One person said they do not collaborate and they have a big ego and Compass wasn't interested in hiring that person. So the reason I tell you this is one of the reasons I love working at Compass is when you go to like an event or you go to your office or you're online at a Zoom meeting or Google Meet or whatever it is, there's a 99% chance that whoever you're dealing with collaborates and has no ego. And the funny thing is when you meet these people, you'll talk to them and they'll collaborate and they'll tell you all these things and you have no idea how well they do. Because one of the things about Compass too is you have to have a certain production amount. Um, when I started, I think it was five or six million, which is, you know, the average Compass agent does significantly better than that. But um, at most brokerages, almost all of them, they don't care about what your production amount is. So at Compass, you have to have production, plus you have to ha be collaborative and no, have no ego. Another thing is, at most brokerages, the back-end people, there are a lot of great people, but there's some that make you feel like they're doing you a favor. Like when I say the back-end people, like the person and people in accounting, the people that are doing your commissions, the people that are putting in the listings, all those things. And you feel like you have to do them a favor to get things done. At Compass, it's so different. They hire roughly one in a thousand people that apply for a job, which is, I think it's 50 times harder to get a job at Compass than to get admission into Harvard. So, I mean, people are getting 12, 13 interviews to get a job at Compass. And it's just not their skill level. It's the same thing, collaborative and no ego. So when you work with someone, whether it's in marketing, whether it's in uh, accounting or listings, transactions, they always make you feel like you're doing them a favor by giving them a deal to work on because they're happy to be employed because of the work that you did. It's such a mind shift, like how different you're used to being treated at most brokerages. If your brokerage is different, you're lucky but typically that's not the case. Typically you have to buy nice gifts for people to do things that are part of their job description. At Compass, it is totally the opposite. Another thing that I love at Compass is we have marketing people. We have some exceptional marketing people from Condé Nast, from Apple, from, from just everywhere. Every, all the Rolex, the best marketers in the world work at Compass. And um, so when I say that, what does that mean to you? So like when I worked at Sotheby's and again, if your brokerage is different, I apologize, I'm not talking to you. 
So like when I worked at Sotheby's, again, a great company, great people, loved the agents, loved the people, the owners and stuff like that. But when I worked there, they had a marketing company, but they had a marketing company for Sotheby's, not for the agent. If there was stuff that they could do, and maybe things have changed, I was, I, I'm 99.99% sure it hasn't changed. But basically, if you wanted them to do work, it was either an expense or they didn't do it for you. At Compass, we have marketers. So at any time, no matter what type of listing it is, it could be a rental for $1,500 a month or a listing we have for $20 million, you know, for sale. At any time, I can go and email Compass Marketing and tell them exactly what I want. I, basically, I would schedule a meeting like on Calendly or whatever, basically schedule a meeting, 30 minutes, an hour, hour and a half, whatever it is, however many I want. I'm going to share my vision with that um, graphic designer, with that marketing person, or ask them what they think I should do. And because these people are exceptional at their job, I mean, some of them did 10, 12, 13 interviews, graduated from the best universities in the country. Some of them have worked at the best companies, you know, doing marketing, Fendi or wherever, like really great places. And they'll do, they'll tell you what they think and they'll do the design and they'll do everything and it's free. That's included as working at Compass. I don't have to pay anything for that. They've created my, my, um, my logo, our, our team's logo. They've done tons of different projects for us for free. That, that is unheard of in real estate. Another thing that they do is, um, you know what? I'm going to share my screen with you. Let me, let me look up this article because I wrote an article on some of the amazing people that have been at Compass or are at Compass. Um, let me pull this up. I wrote an article because I was, it's weird because, um, let me pull this up. Let me see if I could find it. Let's see. You know, it's probably better if I share my screen with you while I do this. And sorry, I was not prepared, but um, let me see. Let's go to my website. If you want to see our website, it's called All In Miami. Let me just pull it up. Let me see this. Let me go back. Let me get out of here. Okay. Let us do this. Sorry. Okay. That makes it much easier. My Zoom thing was blocking half the stuff. So if I go to All in Miami, so sorry about this technical delay, but let me let me go up here. Let me go into the blog. I guess if you look for the article later, you'll know where to find it because I'm doing this exercise for you. So our, I, I'm fortunate that our, our blog, we get thousands of views every month and let me just get rid of this Google Analytics thing. We've been doing a lot of um, hyper local stuff on on Miami. We're doing five blogs on each neighborhood. We're doing about 40 neighborhood videos. And, you know, we're getting we're trying to be an information source rather than that getting a hair transplant. For those of you that have watched my journey, I'm six months into it now, about 50% growth. I'm looking forward to sharing the rest of my journey with you guys, which in the next six months to a year, the rest of the 50% will hopefully grow and make a difference. So one of the things about real estate as I'm looking for this is sharing your authenticity because there's always gonna be someone that does better than us um, in real estate. But if people get to know you, they're gonna, um, they're gonna probably wanna work with you more rather than look at your numbers. In my real estate career, you know, in 17 plus years, very, very few people have asked me how many properties I've sold, probably less than a quarter of a percent. It's probably maybe like three or four people, actually, not too many. Um, so 
again, I apologize. So like, to give you an example, um, when I was at Sotheby's, I was at a conference and I, I friend requested the CEO of, of Sotheby's. I'm still waiting to get that friend request accepted. Whereas at Compass, me and my friend, Chirag, are interviewing the CEO just for a little, a little show that we do. So anyways, let me pull this up. I'm almost there. So just to give you a background of this article that I wrote, it was like, it was at night. I think it was like a Saturday night or Friday night. And it was really, really early in the morning, like two, three in the morning. And I, I it, it just clicked to me, like, there's so many amazing people that ha that work at Compass or worked at Compass. And um, I wanted to share with you guys um, a little bit about who they are. So, um, okay, here it is, finally. Okay, so why you must hire Compass. This, this is what on the website. Um, so first of all, um, these people, let me tell you who they are. So most of you um, have a Amazon device at home. I'm not gonna say Alexa too loud because my devices will come on. But anyways, the person that that invented it, the team that invented it was this guy, Greg Hart, right there. Greg Hart um, helped create um, Alexa. He was in charge of that division. Also started Amazon um, Prime Videos. I don't know if you heard, but the, my device was talking to me. So we have this person, he's in charge of, so I'm not gonna read it, but basically, he he led so many awesome things and um he he's in charge of like product development at compass i think that's his title but he's amazing so having the best of the best and he's at compass and so like why would any of these other three people and him be at compass the only reason you would be at compass when you are a superstar in your field isn't for money because the money that you can, you're already rich, you're already loaded, and you you have an amazing job. The only reason you would want to leave is because, is because you want to make a difference in an industry where you see opportunity. So with that said, the next person is Kate Pearson. I believe that's her name, Kate Pearson. So a lot of you guys know Tesla, obviously. And if you've ever spoken to someone that owns a Tesla, you're gonna hear way, way exponentially more often than not how amazing their customer experience is. So Kate Pearson was the leader of that customer experience at Tesla. So Compass hired her and she, she put in things in place to improve the customer experience a great deal. And although she's no longer at Compass, she was at Compass for a long time where she was able to put things in place and will always be, will always feel everything that she did at Compass. So the next thing is this guy, uh, amazing, amazing person. So a lot of times we hear artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence and data and all those things. And before I get into that, most real estate brokerages have zero to one full-time software engineers at their company. If I'm not mistaken, Compass has 1,500. 1,500 compared to zero to one. So obviously with that, we can do so many more things. I'll, just like that example I gave you was um, the likely to sell being 10%. There are, other, there are other websites that have likely to sell, but there is no way their algorithm, if I'm not mistaken, is even remotely close to 10% of it actually being legit working. So it's huge. So with that said, the next person is Joseph Sarosh. Joseph Sarosh was um, basically, he's a superstar in, in, in his field. He was the chief technology officer in charge of artificial intelligence at Microsoft and at, at Amazon for many years. So he's amazing. He he like runs the the um, engineering division, artificial intelligence, everything, top, top notch. And unless you work at Compass, I, I don't do a great job of sharing, explaining everything and sharing with you everything. 
but it is so exponentially better than than how I'm describing it. So the next person is Ori Aland. So for those of you that go on Google, when you type in Google and you start typing something, it basically figures out what you're gonna type and it'll give you different suggestions on that. So the next person, Ori, he's the one that created that algorithm. He created that thing and he sold it to Google. So Ori did that, plus he was able to do something major at and sold it to Twitter as well. It was a way of, um, let me get to the article and see if I can share with you. Um, so he sold that algorithm. He also had another startup company he sold to Twitter that an that analyzed social activity across the web to deliver fresh and relevant content to user. So basically it's, a, it's an algorithm that shares the right content with you. And so those four people are amazing. Plus the CEO of Compass is pretty amazing, Robert Repkin as well. So there's so many other things. So let me let me break this down a bit. And sorry, this video is really long. As you can tell, I get super excited about talking about Compass. And sorry, I, I talk and talk and talk. But I, I'm sure like with all of you, when you're excited about something and you're super, super passionate about something, you can talk about it forever. So again, apologize for the long video. Anyways, one of the things that how is this going to benefit you now, right? So let me give you an example. If you have a buyer right now in this market, so we're February, I think it was 8th. Yeah, February 8th, 2022. There's very, very limited inventory for, um, for consumers. If it's a buyer and they want to buy a property, there's very limited inventory. So how do you, what do you do to, to compensate for that? There are a couple things. One thing is those likely to sell recommendations. Imagine you have this database of thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of potential likely to sell recommendations. Because the one I showed you is just mine, 500 plus just in mine. And if I'm not mistaken, there's like 25,000 plus Compass agents now. When I started, there were only like 2,000 about four years ago. So imagine, so imagine they don't all have like 500, say they even have a hundred. It's going to be a tremendous amount of potential sellers. So, so, so let me give you an example. So I'm in Miami, say I have someone that wants to move to South beach. What I could do is I can go on workplace and I can go on the Florida Florida or South Miami, South beach, coconut Grove, whatever the South Florida part of workplace and say, Hey, I have an, I have a motivated buyer looking to pay cash, wants to move immediately, um, looking to spend $4 million and blah, blah, blah. And I say, do any of you guys have someone that's selling a property there? So besides us reaching out to like, are looking, reaching out to people that are going to put their home on the market that, that have contacted us or people that have um, basically were taking the photos, it's not online yet, or it's like maybe what's called a private exclusive where the person it wants to put their house on the market, but they only want it to be with that brokerage for now because they don't want too many showings and stuff. So that would be one way to do it. I'm sure Sotheby's, Douglas Elliman, Compass, all these other companies do it. Compass, since our platform is so, so um, well developed, it's in our internal search um, for Compass agents. Consumers can't see it, but agents can, so it helps a lot. So the other way, like I said, is if you're if, if I have this buyer looking for this particular property, and I put that, if you're a smart agent, basically you're going to look at your likely to sell um, clients that show on your list, and you're going to look to see is there anyone in South Beach that potentially has a property that is, you know, in South Beach for about 4 million or whatever the number is, then I'm going to contact those people and then potentially make a deal. So you have a 10% chance if your person is in there. So it's a big number. So you can make, you get, basically you're expanding the amount of inventory there is um, out there. So, I mean, I'm at 
like close to the 40 minute mark. Um, and I don't want to keep going on and on and on because it's going to take me forever to upload this video and stuff. Bottom line is Compass is amazing. If you guys have any questions, comments at all, or just want to learn more about Compass, feel free to reach out to me. You could DM me. My information is going to be on this video. You can call me, whatever it is. I'm happy to help. Like I told you, I've done hundreds of these calls. And um, one of the things I love about Compass, our, one of our principles is collaborate without ego and looking forward to doing that with you. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you made it to the end, um, appreciate it. Um, and if you were, if you like our videos, if you happen to be on our YouTube channel, yesterday I uploaded like way too many property videos. I had a bunch of them and I hadn't uploaded them in a while. So there's probably about like, I don't know, 30 plus videos on properties. So if you want to see those, obviously see those, but if you skip those, we have a lot better content than just property videos. Hopefully you enjoy it. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. And like I said, if there's anything I can do for you, you have questions, comments, um, feel free to reach out to me. Happy to help in any way I can. Thanks so much. Love you guys. All the best.